Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be going through my all-star votes for the first round of the voting process. So basically just me who I think is the best player at each position for the AL and the NL. Not really too much to it. There are some really some positions that are really weak, others are really, really strong. So let's go ahead and go in with the first base here with the American League. Some guys here that stand out. Uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. having a pretty solid season, 281, 7 home runs, 30 RBIs, 778 OPS. Uh, Ryan Mountcastle is having a really good year, 277 average, 11 home runs, 32 RBIs, 0.812 OPS. Josh Naylor has been hitting bombs, 17 RBIs, has a low average, but a really high OPS, so he is consideration as well. And not much else there, so for me, it's between Vlad, Mountcastle, and Naylor. Mountcastle has been an overall better hitter, but Naylor has more power. I'm going to go with Ryan Mountcastle for the better overall across the board offense and numbers. So he's my vote for the American League first baseman. For the NL, uh, Pete Alonso, 235 average, 14 home runs, 32 RBI, 778 OPS. Good old Jake Bowers not making it, 209, 5 home runs, 25 RBIs. Uh, Josh Bell has been decent for the Marlins. Uh, Michael Bush really cooled off after Hoster's last same with Jake Cronenworth. Freddie Freeman, 0.299 average, 9 home runs, 41 RBIs, 904 OPS is really great. Bryce Harper, 282 average, 15 home runs, 46 RBIs, 926 OPS. Really good. Lamont Wade Jr. has been decent. Christian Walker is always decent, 255, 13 home runs, 42 RBIs, 798 OPS with gold glove defense, but is Bryce Harper. Dude has been absolutely insane for the Phillies this year. He deserves the all-star nod. Now we get to the second baseman, American League, Jose Altuve, 294 average, 10 home runs, 26 RBI, 786 OPS. And it's not really much else. Michael Macy, 294 average, 6 home runs, 23 RBIs, 835 OPS. Marcus Simeon is always decent, has 11 home runs, but it's Jose Altuve. Best overall offensive player in the American League. Only one I'll consider for is Michael Macy. But, yeah. Then in the NL, there's really two guys I want to highlight. Nolan Gorman has 15 RBIs, 773, 50 home runs, 773 OPS. has been really good, for decent for the Cardinals. But, for me, it's down between Cattell Marte, 282, 14 home runs, 37 RBIs, 859 OPS. And Bryce Terang, 294 average, 3 home runs, 24 RBIs, 761 OPS. The reason why Terang is in conversation, partly I am biased, I am a Brewers fan, so there's that there. But he's playing gold glove level defense and has 24 steals on the year and is one of the top 10 players in war in the National League. One person that is higher than him is Cattell Marte. And even my biases aside, I still believe Cattell Marte is the best second baseman in the National League right now. Uh, Bryce Terang definitely deserves consideration and votes. But this is my purely a Objective, go through here. I'll submit some other ballots that are full on Brewers to get marked, get my guys in. But Cattell Marte, best. He's the best second base in the NL. So next, third base, Alex Bregman, 249 home runs, 32 RBI, 706. Royce Lewis just hasn't been healthy enough to really be considered. Um, Isaiah Paredes has been good, 291, 10 home runs, 38 RBIs, 850 OPS. Jose Ramirez, 273 average, 18 home runs, 62 RBIs, 876 OPS. has been really, really solid. And Jordan Westbrook deserves some love there, too, for Baltimore. But as is, does Rafael Devers, 282, 13 home runs, 32 RBIs, 928 OPS. But I'm going to go with J-Ram because he is so important to the Indian Guardians. He is fantastic. He's one of the best hitters in baseball. I'm going to go Jose Ramirez for third baseman in the American League. And then NL, uh, Ryan McMahon has been pretty decent, 267, 12 home runs, 36 RBIs, 812 OPS. Um, Jordan Ortiz, 285, 5 home runs, 23 RBIs, 843 OPS for the Brewers. He's been fantastic. Alec Bohm has also been pretty decent, 6 home runs, 52 RBIs, 797 OPS, 286 average. But me, it's the rookie Jordan Ortiz is going to get the, uh, the nod over Bohm as he has... Better average, better OPS. I know home runs and RBIs count, but he's been getting on base. He's been fantastic for the Brewers. A real big spark plug for them. So I'm going to go with Jory Ortiz as the Brewers' um, 
as the third baseman in the National League. A little, is that a little bit biased? Yes, it is, but I really don't care. Next up, shortstop. Um, Paul DeYoung, 13 homers, 20 RBIs. Gunnar Henderson, 276 average, 21 homers, 47 RBIs, 974 OPS. And Corey Seager has been fantastic, 271, 14, 32, 33 RBIs, 846 OPS. And Bobby Woods Jr. is really between Gunner and Bobby. Bobby has the higher average, the better base running, but Gunner has the power playing for the Orioles. I'm going to go with Gunner, but as him and Bobby are like so, so close for me. So I'm going to go with Gunner. Then for the NL, um, Willie Adamas has been solid 246, 11 home runs, 47 RBI, 769 OPS. I'll get to you in a minute. Ellie has cooled off a lot 228, 11 home runs, 29 RBIs. Is leading the league in steals. Ezekiel Tovar, 293, 11 home runs, 32 RBIs, 815 OPS. Mason Wynn has been solid for the Cardinals as well, but come on, it's Mookie. He is a front runner for an NL MVP in his first year at playing shortstop. Like, this guy could play everywhere. 309 average, 10 home runs, 4 DRBIs, and a 912 OPS. He's been fantastic for the Dodgers, and he's the front runner for the MVP, in my opinion. Next up, we got the catcher for these leagues. Salvador Perez has been solid, 302 average, 10 home runs, 42 RBIs, 869 OPS. But then there's Adley Rushman, 297 average, 13 home runs, 50 RBIs, 812 OPS as well. I, it's between Salvi and Adley for me, and I'm going to go with Salvi. He has better offensive numbers, pretty close, and he's been pretty decent defensively. So I'm going to go with Salvador Perez. As the catcher, and for the NL, is really down to two guys, William Contreras and Will Smith. And you know me, if it's close, I'm picking the Brewer. William Contreras has been fantastic defensively, really good offensively, MVP for the Brewers. So William Contreras is my starting catcher in the National League. Probably be outvoted by the Dodgers' Will Smith, but that's beside the point. And for the AL, I think it is pretty, pretty simple here. There's a couple guys here. Aaron Judge. Absolutely deserves to be an all star. 306 average, 25 home runs, 62 RBIs, 1.135 OPS. Let's see where else is. Where are they? Juan Soto, 317, 17 home runs, 53 RBIs, 1.025 OPS. And there's another one here that was missing. Kyle Tucker. Those are the three clear best outfielders in the AL. Stephen Kwan deserves some consideration. He's been really good offensively. Did miss some time with injury. But those three, clear, clearly the best in the, in the AL. And then in the National League, there's a couple guys here um, that I want to highlight as a potential. Teoscar Hernandez has been fantastic for the Dodgers. 262, 17 home runs, 50 RBIs. Um... Jerson Profar, really good candidate here. 324, 10 home runs, 45 outrights, 924 OPS. Uh, Fernando Tatis, 280, 13 home runs, 35 RBIs, 828 OPS. And then Christian Yelich, I know he missed about a month of the year, but 625, does only have six home runs, but 30 RBIs, great best running, 912 OPS. So between those four is who I am going with here. Gonna go with Tay Oscar for the pure power. He's been fantastic. Gonna go with Jerks and Profar. Profar, surprisingly great average. Great OPS, highest one out of the group. And I'm gonna go with Yelich because I think he has been all star worthy of an all star selection. I know, personal bias, but Yelich deserves to be out there as well. He's been fantastic this year. And then for the designated hitter, I mean, you got your Don Alvarez, 293, 14 homers, 35 RBIs, 888 OPS. Then David Fry has been fantastic for Cleveland. 321, 8 home runs, 30 RBIs. Josh Young has been hurt all year. Ryan O'Hearn has been pretty decent. Kevin Pillar has been good for the Angels. Brent Rooker has been decent. John Carlo has a home run total. But for me, I'm going to go with David Fry. It's a great story. He has the numbers. He's been really good. But Jordan also deserves it too. Then for the NL, Charlie Blackman still playing? Holy cow. Alec Burleson has been pretty solid. Reese Hoskins is there. But really, it's between Shohei Otani and Marcelo Ozuna. And since the DH is purely offensive numbers, 
Marcel has the better offensive number. I know Shohei is Shohei, but Marcel is doing his there's a spot there. So that's who we got here for the American League. I have Ryan Mountcastle, Jose Altuve, Jose Ramirez, Gunnar Henderson, Salvador Perez, Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Kyle Tucker, and David Fry. National League, Bryce Harper, Ketel Marte, Joey Ortiz, Mookie Betts, Willie Contreras, Teoscar Hernandez, Jerickson Profar, Christian Yelich, and Marcel Ozuna. And I'll submit this off screen um, so you guys don't see my personal information. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again very, very soon.